So my son informed me that last minute that uh, his friend is having a Thanksgiving party and he's supposed to take a turkey um, because he was the last one to sign up for the potluck. So he ended up with the main dish, the turkey. So I went and got this turkey from Trader Joe's and it's already brined, so that should be easy. So I'm trying to um, just clean it up and I will uh, put some marination, some kind of uh, nice rub on it and then stick it in the oven. And uh, I think we should be good wasn't too expensive the whole thing cost me 27 bucks so i have my platter ready but the turkey is yet to be done i picked up a rosemary uh leaf it's a gigantic leaf in fact it was even longer i put this big this much of it inside the stuffing you know inside the cavity of the turkey so we have that i have some melted butter to baste i'm gonna bring the turkey out and make my son do this he's got to put in some work so guys i went to wake up my son he's fast asleep so here I am stuck with the basting uh, and I kind of, you know, thought I'd let him sleep because he just got done with his finals. Um, I don't know if I'm being, you know, uh, that infamous Indian mother, you know how they are with their sons, got to watch out for that. Um, uh, so here I am basting the chicken, the work has to be done and the, yeah. Already looks brown, but it's not done. Nowhere near being done. Thanksgiving is on Thursday, and today is a Saturday before Thanksgiving. So these kids are just uh, having a good time, and they seem to be wanting more than just one Thanksgiving. So which is good. This way they get to enjoy with their friends, and then Thanksgiving Day is spent with the family. I just stick it into the uh, the thigh part, and the breast part, and the wings, and uh, let's see what it reads uh, here. Oh my god, it's 194, it's supposed to be 165, what the hell. Goodbye, until next year. So guys, I'm not going to need it this year again because I am going to my cousin's house for Thanksgiving and she's going to bake things. I just have to take appetizers and uh, dessert, maybe some drinks. Guys, I'm getting tempted to eat some of the turkey, so I'm baking some sweet potatoes to go with it and we're going to have a pre-Thanksgiving Thanks guys, what do you think? I carved it and I put my rosemary in between and this is my pomegranate from my backyard. Just sprinkle a few of those as well. And uh, I think we have some nice Thanksgiving colors in here. And we're ready for the season. So Thanksgiving, of course, is synonymous with overeating. So I have to make sure that I have some form of exercise. So I'm off on a walk. Look what I found on my walk. Deer, and they're just staring at me. There they are. Right in front of someone else's porch. It's so cute to see them. So coming out to walk at dusk can be rewarding sometimes. Oh, this one's got an antler. So is that the daddy, the mama over here, and the two kids at the back? Adorable. Mom, mom trusts me. She, she knows. Us moms, you know how it is. The whole family is run off except her. She's like, where are you guys? This lady is no threat. She's one of us. I seem to have been an animal magnet that day. Just as I crossed the bridge, there was this cat and she followed me for part of my walk. She was with me. Where do you live? You should head home. Head home, girl. Head home. I got to go home. It's getting dark. I suggest you do that too. All right. Bye. Are you trying to jump over? Well, I guess she trusts me too. She's coming home with me. I'll take you. I mean, you can come with me. But is this your house? Are you lost? I think you're just having a good time. So guys, the whole point of my walk was to ultimately go for this lovely dinner 
at this uh, Greek restaurant in San Francisco and I think it's very popular with uh, Indians as well um, so we're here and holidays are the only time when we kind of kind of just you know are all able to go out and my daughter now that she's working she's quite pleased that she can have good dinners that we will pay for so uh, they've all started to appreciate our outings a lot more so my daughter recommended this apple spritzer but I wasn't that kicked about it. It was fine. But I do have a very nice drink that I'm going to show you towards the end of the video. So the couple of Indians I met uh, outside the restaurant, they were speaking in Malayalam. So I know they're from Kerala. And I think what attracted them to this restaurant is the, is the fish preparation. It's, uh, it's a Branzino, which is like a European sea bass. And uh, it's grilled and it's quite nice. But we didn't order that today. We just got a whole bunch of appetizers. As you can see here, it's such an exhaustive list of yummy appetizers. Oh, look at this nice plate. I feel like I'm in Greece already. Eating out sometimes is like traveling on the cheap, really cheap. <laughs> Our appetizers were really good. So this is shrimp, just like in Barcelona. And what's this? This is the calamari, but the grilled calamari is okay. Persimmons, I was hoping it would be better than what it was because I thought the persimmons needed to be a little bit sweeter. But, you know, it's a nice seasonal item, so I'm not complaining too much. And this was a fried cheese which had some oregano dusted on it. This also I thought could have been a bit better and that is the Greek salad. This was nice. Uh, very simple but quite nice. And then the zucchini cakes. Um, like uh, I like this. It's fried of course but you know it's Thanksgiving. Uh, and then for the main course we ordered a couple plates of lamb chops and then we split that up. Uh, so that was our meal. Quite enjoyable. And the name of that restaurant is Kokari in San Francisco. Waiting for everyone to show up. This is also one thing we do as a tradition around Thanksgiving is to all go on a hike together. So uh, so just one time and even that uh, ends up being a challenge. And this one was even more of a challenge than ever before. Um, just keep watching. So here we are trying to while away our time while we are waiting for the last person to come out. So when one person comes out, the other one goes in. It's a never ending cycle. And she's here. And she's here. And you just heard the door lock. Well, guess what? We locked ourselves out and we don't have the keys now and we have to figure out a way to get back inside. And uh, so here we are trying to figure it all out. And you know me, I have all the good ideas in the family. We somehow managed to get a ladder. And uh, I remember that there was a window that was slightly open. I don't know how that happened, but uh, it's usually locked. But we got really lucky that day. And then um, we asked our daughter to climb up and go uh, get, um, get us in, I mean, get the keys. So she's tried one window and then I thought that would be an easier one to open. But it turned out that the other one was um, far easier. So we made it one way or another. But of course, we were quite dysfunctional just before we figured out this solution. Uh, and there was a lot of uh, blame game going on. Uh, so we're just another normal family trying to solve a problem. We made it, guys. <laughs> on a walk, on a hike. Thought this day would never come. Nice warm Sunday. Look at the view. We got rewarded by this. Lovely view.
so guys that's the end of my thanksgiving break part one video here we are going to a show and this is a chicken uh, i'll tell you later that my cousin made and i also went to a gem show so i'm going to tell you all about it and the other show i went to the comedian is of indian origin so i'm going to leave you guessing so come back and see who we went to see and until then i will see you See you next week. Bye-bye. Actually, not next week. Much sooner than that since I'm doing a two-part series. Bye.